Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing? I know, I know, I know, I know the notification. I personally didn't know what happened because I set up everything, made my thumbnail and everything like that. Came on to start the show at 4.30 only to find not a sign of the notification, absolutely nothing. However, I had to like quickly make a new thumbnail and the show is up and ready. So I'm sure you guys probably just getting the notification. I have been having problem, however, with the notification, they actually brought on a new system and because the new system is on, it is kind of acting a little crazy, but we're here and the show must go on. How are you all doing? Today we're going to be talking about five natural ingredients that is great for tightening and firming the skin. And as you all know, regardless of your age, most people want to have a tight, firm, and younger looking skin. So I'm gonna tell you stuff that you can use, simple ingredients that you can use to tighten that skin, to firm that skin, and to have yourself looking younger. How, let me see the chat, I wanna do some shout out. Sorry for those people who I normally chit chat with earlier before the show, the fact that we didn't have a thumbnail out. Um, I didn't get to do my regular chit chat with you, but I will be doing that next week. Okay. Loretta Grace. Hello. Um, Roddy Mormon. Hello. Hello, Chichi. How are you? I'm doing fine. And we also have Katty Jack, Maria Olness, and MK Penzini. I'm messing so, but so I'm going to just spell it. MK P E. N Y E N E Jonathan Jonathan uh, Amy I Misha I, how are you I'm doing good Karen McDowell Zamba Hi Zamba Sarah Warda Um Khalid Um We also have Um Rajini and Annette Williams Best Beauty Eat It Regular Vicky Vicky Hi Vicky Vicky How are you Um Welcome to chat First time seeing you on the chat Now guys A lot of people have been complaining That for some people I think they're saying The show is late Or for some people The show is early um, in case you're not aware where I'm at, I'm in New York. We actually spring forward and that was, um, so this week is going to be, I think the second week. So the time at shift and uh, if you're joining now, this is the time 4 30 PM. So for those of you who normally watch, let's say 3 30, now you got to go to 4 30 or 2 30. I, I got to figure it out, but just set your clock for whatever time it is now. If you're joining in, we didn't, um, we're not late and we're not early. It's just that we're at the time actually at change. Okay. I just want to make that, um, be known because I get a lot of beat up this week that, Hey, the show is late. And some people say the show is too early. So, it's a regular time for me. All right, guys. So skincare ingredient that you can find at home that can tighten and firm the skin or ingredient that you actually could purchase, but there's natural ingredient that can tighten and firm the skin. Now, why do we want to tighten and firm the skin? We want to tighten and firm the skin because we're trying to get rid of wrinkles. I talk about this on my channel if you're a regular. Hi, Sharon Henry. How are you? Maria Dana. Now, if you're a regular watcher on my show, you know I normally like to talk about boots and collagen and all of that. I personally am at the age where I need to tighten and firm the skin. However, there are many people out there that is even older than me and they're looking for easy and, you know, a fast and natural way to firm the skin. Most people are now turning into natural skincare because of you know no chemical and all of that so you are at the right place if you're watching now back to why do we need to tighten and firm the skin we need to tighten and firm the skin because when the skin get older when you're getting older your skin tend to lose the collagen production in the skin and the first stage of losing the collagen production you're going to notice that you're starting to get like little crease like you know like you look at my face and if i do this you see little laugh lines 
and all of that coming up, little wrinkles in the forehead. That is the skin losing the collagen production, and that is creating wrinkles and fine lines. And if you do not like take care of that, it's gonna further turn into sagging skin. Now we cannot roll back the aging process. However, there's many things that we could do to slow it down. And it's either you're gonna go get a facelift or some Botox, or you're gonna try some natural ingredients, natural homemade remedies like I do on this channel. Okay, now the first one we're gonna talk about is Fuller's Earth. And Fuller's Earth is natural clay from the earth, chemical free that you can use on the skin to tighten and firm that skin. Now, any form of a clay that you have that is that is geared towards um, you know, the skin. Any form of clay like green clay, um, some people call fuller's earth bunny bunny bonitita, bonitita or bonita clay, any clay mask will help to tighten the skin. The natural antioxidants and the natural minerals in clay help to really get into that pores and boots that collagen production and tighten just basically getting rid of the wrinkles and fine lines in your skin however using a clay mask on your skin you got to do it on a regular two to three times per week is really good now if you want to click that clay mask up a notch that's it when you could add other ingredient to it like you could add some papaya some cucumber some coconut oil you can add all other things some rose oil and turn it into either an anti-aging or an hydrating however the base that is clay is definitely going to give you that tightness to your skin you can make a clay mask or even buy a clay mask use it on your skin it on for 30 minutes what is going to happen you're going to feel that clay mask grabbing that skin and tightening that skin so definitely if you are looking to tighten and firm the skin the clay mask is a way is a wonderful um ingredient to use on the skin constant abori hi how are you and we also have um Carmen Galarza, how can I get rid of the bags under the eyes? God bless. And I get that question every day. Last week, I posted really, 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 no joke, because I use this all week, wonderful remedy for the eye area. So when you're done, you could go back and go on my channel page, click on my face below the video. That is going to take you to my channel page. As soon as you get on the channel page, because the video is fairly new, you're going to see that video. That that fish, that um, treatment for the under eyes is really awesome. And you definitely should give it a try if you're having, you know, eye bags and wrinkles under your eyes, or even if the area around your eyes is looking a little aged and you need to brighten that eyes, that remedy will do that for you. When I'm done with the show, I'm going to try to list that video below or i'll put it as you know one of those things that go over it while we are watching but if you have parsley give that remedy a try rita i receive your emails those are some really good stuff all right we also have um the Dali Obo. Um, I use the almond oil and rose hip oil every day. It works well for tightening my face, except for my forehead wrinkles. What should I use? And those are some oils that I was going to mention today that also have to tighten and firm that skin. Now, because you have forehead wrinkles, and I'm not sure how deep the wrinkles are on your forehead, you're going to use, along with those oils, you're going to do some facial massages or facial exercises. And a pretty quick a pretty easy but very very effective one is just to take your oil rub it in your hands and do like this on your forehead just do like this and you're going to repeat this probably do it for about a minute you can also push it up and hold push it up and hold and that works wonders i actually introduce this to a lot of people that come back and be like oh yeah that's good however you cannot do it you know once per week you got to do it Basically, every day for best result, but at least two to three times per day. Practice whenever you add oil to your skin to, to just work it, just move it up and do whatever. Whatever it is you're adding to your face, you're applying to your face, always just apply it as if you're massaging the skin, which is going to help to just... Um, 
you know, the blood to circulate more. And in that way, you'll reap the added benefit. If you're watching the show and you like Sunday Chit Chat, let me know you're liking Sunday Chit Chat by giving the video a thumbs up. If you look below, you're going to see the little thumb up like this. I think it's said like this, just thumb it up. And that way I know that you are enjoying the show. Okay. All right. Let me take another question before we get into another product that is another ingredient that is good for the skin. Janice Dyer. I actually have a, a um, what we call that now? A, I actually know somebody with this name, Janice Dyer. That's from my district in Jamaica. I don't think this is the Janice Dyer, but yeah. Okay, um, where can I buy a clay mask, please? I'm in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, all right. You can actually get a clay mask um, in the pharmacy. And if you do not want to, you know, go and buy a store-bought one, you could actually get like Fuller's Earth and Amazon, which is much, you know, pretty cheaper because you're going to get that bag and then you could add stuff to it you get a bag of clay mass for like a bag of fuller's earth for like five dollars or probably less and you're in trinidad you you um you could get it on amazon if not just go in your pharmacy or drugstore and it's gonna be on the shelf somewhere there like the bottom shelf depending on the brand you'll find a wide variety of um clay mask okay all right um um, then we also have Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Thank you so much. Um, Makeru, M-A-K-H-E-R-U. Um, tell him that. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So that's a conversation. Um, ta Tatuana, I think this person was on my chat a while. I haven't seen you. I have the type of skin that holds mark. Now, every little thing I leave behind a mark, sometimes light brown or dark, almost black. I'm fair skin, so how can I fix it? And there's a lot of people out there with that kind of a skin where, as I tend to have that too, as soon as you get a little scratch, the mark is there. As soon as something bites, the mark is there. For you, you have to use a lot of skin lightening natural ingredients like lemon, tomato, potato. Those kind of things on your skin will help. Aloe vera is another wonderful fresh aloe that is. When you have little marking on your skin, if you get some fresh aloe vera and you rub it on it over um, every day, uh, it's also people with keloid. You know what keloid is that, that you know, get a cut and you leave that little bump on the skin you rub it on the skin every day if you can it will help to clear the spots up i um let me see if i could see um sorry guys i know i'm talking about tightening the skin but if you was watching my channel a couple of months ago you would notice that i have like some really really dark spots right here and for my regular subscriber might know what happened when I was telling them about the door. And it was like really, really dark. And I use the aloe vera mixed with the potato juice. And it is definitely fading. Like this is fast for the severity of it that it was. So I didn't cover it or anything like that because I want you guys to see that eventually it's just going to go away. But it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication. So whenever you have spots and blemishes on the skin, you definitely have to be focused. It definitely have to be dedicated to you know using the natural remedies on it to lighten the ear and for you that it happened to basically like every day or so often then you need to know that like aloe vera and potato and lemon and um even lime will help to clear it up all right all right um we also have um delaris catherine um buju buju and we also have um let me see what i'm missing uh thank you for the forehead massage advice okay you're welcome all right guys so back to another ingredient that is great for tightening and firming that skin and this one is very natural and this one is one that i like i know it's not readily available to a lot of people i think it is it's depend on the region that you're from but it is none other than the papaya and for those of you watching my channel that is over 40 definitely try to use some papaya on your skin that papaya is like a natural botox fruit no joke about it mixing the papaya just blend that papaya and just 
play plaster it all over your face and your neck and decollete leave it on your face do that three to three times a week at least it's gonna tighten the skin you will not understand why the papaya tightened the skin and it's not gonna dry on the skin but those natural antioxidant that is in the papaya definitely do a number on your skin and i have a what a few wonderful remedies and for you with the um forehead wrinkle i also have a papaya fuller's earth facial mask for forehead wrinkles an old video so you'd have to you have to actually type um forehead wrinkles chicha beauty and maybe that video will pop up but definitely guys if you can get just as how i preach aloe vera that is exactly how i preach the papaya and now listen if you mix some aloe vera with some papaya fresh aloe vera that is with some nice juicy papaya blend that and add a little bit of yogurt to that use it on your skin it's gonna tighten and firm the skin and that is like a anti-aging facial mask remedy that i'm giving you right here if you have a party to go to if you have a special occasion and you're looking for that quick fix that quick lift However, lifting and hydrating and giving your skin that sheen, that glow, that supple look to your skin, the papaya, the aloe vera, and your favorite oil, whether it's rose hip, whether it's coconut oil, whether it is olive oil or any of those um, um, retinol, vitamin A oil, you tip a little in that, use that on your face, and you're going to look so fresh, so radiant, and so glowing. You not believe that you didn't spend hundreds of dollars taking care of your skin. So definitely, guys, the papaya is great for the skin. It's firm the skin. It's boosts the collagen production while hydrating the skin. And it is also great if you have large pores, you know, like the large pores, your nose, and like the side of your face right here use the papaya it's gonna do num a number on your skin if you're liking the video let me know by thumbs in it up okay guys all right let me go back and take another question um santa su su santan tjif i'm trying to pronounce this what does it mean on oil label not a significant source of vitamin a or c it means that it do have a trace of vitamin a and a trace of vitamin c but not enough for you to use like in any of my remedies that I'm like, use vitamin C, use vitamin A. It means it's not enough to, to act, let's say, on the skin. So if you're looking for um, a tightening and firming um, facial oil, and if it said like not a significant source, it means that it don't have much in it. So you really, you know, can use it, but you're not gonna get that result that you're looking for, because it's not enough. It means that it's just a little bit in it, okay? All right, so you just, leave it alone and go and buy the natural thing however if it's not and significant, you could add stuff to it to bring it up to what you want it to be all right all right so we have um kava oh that's a nice name um algeranic acid and please review okay slash okay um i love I love gel. I have a problem pronouncing this word, but I know what you're talking about. Review. All right. I'm going to actually do that on my um, my Friday show where we'll get more into detail. So definitely try to watch the Friday show where I'm going to talk like in details about all these acids. Okay. All right. Um, um, Shireen Khan, I'm using your many remedies. It's great. Thank you so much. Can I use, oh, maybe rice and egg mask five times a week of course it's all natural it is all natural and if you make a batch like you make enough and you have leftover go ahead and use it there's absolutely nothing wrong with that there's no chemical if you have the time reap the benefits okay so yes you can all right well most of my remedies you can use every day because as i said they're all natural um sharon um lewin thanks to using a lot and liking um um, 
um cover i heard ibisus is good too for skin tightening yes and that is another um ingredient that we're looking into as a matter of fact i plan on doing a show with ibiscus because ibiscus is not only great for skin tightening but it is a wonderful ingredient for weight loss okay guys for weight loss ibiscus so we'll get into details you know along the way on my friday show about ibiscus for weight loss and for skin care but for those of you watching you could actually go and read up on hibiscus because it is really really wonderful for internally and externally okay all right we also have um verlene what about banana skin and there's so much about banana skin verlene oh that's a nice name too the banana skin is so versatile and i use a lot of banana i actually discovered the banana skin for myself for facial okay and then i started read up on it and find out that it was already out there little old meeting that i was like the first like yeah wow this actually worked and then i find out it was already out there that the banana skin do it helps to lighten and brighten the skin and the banana um itself blend all of that with the peel will help to tighten the skin also now i like to use banana on my skin along with the peel because it moisturizing and whenever you're looking for like just a quick so you know a quick way to make your skin just just pop like bright radiant just get the banana you can basically just take that banana peel and just rub it on your skin leave it on for a few minutes and it's gonna it's just gonna wake your skin up definitely a tightening but i like to also mix that banana peel with some fuller's earth or any clay you have that green clay put it on your skin and you are just tight 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 just tight but i'm not gonna say instantly because you need to leave it on for at least 30 minutes but after the 30 minutes most time you could see a big difference okay now i'm gonna move on to the next which we basically talk about and that is egg white egg white if you use egg no joke the egg is gonna give you instant lift to the skin looking for an instant facelift looking to tighten and firm the skin basically instantly 30 minutes 15 minutes you can't go wrong with eggs egg white that is and when you want to kick it up a notch you mix it with other things such as i did with the potato and that guys that video where i use the egg and the potato as you can see everybody loved that video that video has generated over five it's probably a little more, but I'm thinking over 5 million views. And not only are people just clicking on it, but they're actually watching it. And it's a wonderful, wonderful. If you have not seen that video, when you're done, just go and look at it. It's on the thumbnail, I have the bowl with the potato and the egg. And I use the, the, the starch from the potato to blend with that egg white. Mm, 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 mm. Really, really an amazing. And that is one recipe that is going to be in my book that I am working on. If you have not seen that video, go and watch it and try that recipe. It's pretty, pretty easy because I'm using ingredient that is readily available to most people. Even if you have to go out there and buy yourself an egg, don't shy away from it because you're going to get great results. And read a comment and see some people are having a ball with that um, recipe. So egg egg white now if you break an egg you use the white on your skin to tighten that skin now if you're looking to really moisturize the skin you can use the egg yolk also mix that egg yolk with some yogurt and use it on your skin and if you don't feel like using the egg yolk on your skin just lather it in your hair put a steam cap on so you get the full benefit of the egg nothing is gonna waste but that's with the fuller's earth the egg and the fuller's earth are my two favorite for really tightening the skin especially when you're looking for a quick and fast result all right so that's another wonderful ingredient for my vegan subscribers i know you can't use the egg but the fuller's earth the clay mask is mm, 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 really really good for you all right so let me go back blessing yes potato with egg white i'm using and it is great see what i'm saying and we also have frankincense essential also help in skin tightening and especially those wrinkles around the mouth area so definitely you are hearing the result from people using this um mass um 
All right, so um, Deborah Ross, do I keep using your remedy for my frown lines or stop doing it or continue with mass? Okay, all of these natural remedies that you're using on your skin, unless you're doing like a skin tag remedy that when you put it on your skin tag, your skin tag is gonna fall off eventually and bye-bye, However, if it's something to maintain the skin, if you're using something to tighten the skin, if you're using stuff to brighten the skin, whatever it is, if you're using remedies to hydrate the skin, you got to keep using it. Now, one of the reasons I have so many different facial mask and facial scrub and all these wonderful goodness is that people tend to get bored and not only that anything at all that you use on your skin for too long like years and years and years your skin just get too used to it and then it's like you know you don't see no results anymore so you play with other things if you get bored easily and you're using one facial mask on your skin although i used to do that i have a facial scrub that i used to use on my skin for years and years and years and years and years and guess what it just recently i stopped buying it like i would still have it in the bathroom even though i'm making my my own I would you know just be addicted to that facial scrub so I do understand that but definitely continue to use just as though you wash your face and you have to put a little oil on your face every day that's the same thing so the wrinkles and um, frown line even if you find that they totally disappear or get less just keep doing what you're doing or find a new one to experiment with okay so just use whatever you're using on a regular always and that's not only helping the wrinkles to go away but it's also helping to build your self-confidence it also helping to you know give you that time the special time to spend with yourself to take care of yourself if you use a facial mask on your skin and you know it's not you know doing it for you don't think that is a loss because the time that you spend just preparing this thing for yourself the time that you spend just taking care of you is worth more than it's priceless basically priceless lip discoloration if you find that your lip is dark, you can exfoliate. And a quick and easy and simple exfoliator for the lips is just sugar and coconut oil or sugar and olive oil. Use that, just make a little paste with it and exfoliate your lips two to three times per week. Add a little bit of a um, lip balm and a, a good lip balm to use is one that have, um, um, beeswax base is fear trying to, to to lighten that lip and before you know it your lip is going to look much lighter just do it on a regular and that is not no joke guys i have several video where i right in front of you exfoliate my lips so i wear a lot of dark lipstick and and my lips tend to stain like if i take my lip um my lipstick off something especially in the winter month that i go very very dark you probably would think i smoke from the stain of off my lips so i have to keep exfoliating my lips with simple sugar and olive oil or whatever oil you have coconut oil is my favorite with sugar and it definitely clear that lip up okay so try to do that and you can also watch a few of my videos in getting rid of that stain dark stain from the lips if you are liking the video guys give it a thumbs up all right guys so we talk about fuller's earth we talk about um papaya and i also talk about egg white i got a true a few oils in there which we mentioned before because my time is going you know away any oil that have vitamin a and we have a lot like the cacao oil we also have the um rose hip oil we also have the oba oil all of those oils that have vitamin or you could straight up get yourself the capsule the vitamin a capsule Open one of those little capsules and put it in your favorite oil and apply it to your skin. And that is definitely going to help to tighten and firm that skin. So there are many stuff, many natural ingredients. And I'm thinking that I'm leaving a few out, but it's going to run me way over time to talk about these wonderful goodness that you can use at home to tighten and firm the skin, just to have your skin lift and looking nice. So if you use facial mask, and I normally recommend two to three times per week what you need to do is try to have at least one tightening facial mask 
per week, okay? So if you use all those moisturizing, those hydrating facial masks, have a, a tightening facial mask at least once per week to just balance things out. And always remember, whatever facial mask you're using, whatever tightening remedy you're going to use on your skin, in order for it to work and give you a wonderful result, you need to exfoliate your skin before. And if you can also steam the skin before, you can use a warm wash rod, place it over your face, or you could do the old time thing, a bowl with water, and you just do that. For me, if I want to steam my face and I'm in an hurry, I go in the shower, I put the hot water on and I wet my wash rod with it, test it to make sure it's not too hot, place it over my face for about 30 seconds, and you do that two to three times a week and you're good to go. It helps to open the pores and when you exfoliate, it let the, the exfoliation process even easier and faster. And then when you apply all these wonderful tightening agent, tightening ingredient to your skin, it penetrates deeper into the skin and that caused the skin to plump up faster and you get faster results okay so it's 3 30 now guys for tomorrow morning for those of you who was asking about facial toner i have facial toner flash um slash facial tonic um i have a video tomorrow morning it's going to be at um, between 10.30 and 11 Eastern Standard Time. That's 10.30 Eastern Standard Time that I'm going to post. I know people are having a problem with the clock change, so I'm doing half an hour later than the 10 o'clock. So I'm going to post a video. So I always be talking about facial facial toner, facial toner, and a lot of you like, where can we get this facial toner? You don't have, I do have a lot, but I am posting a new video tomorrow with the facial toner. And the facial toner is the first thing that you're going to use on your skin after you wash your face, okay? So you're going to do whatever, whether you're doing your facial mask, you're exfoliating, blah, blah, blah. Once your face is clean and it's ready for, you know, your moisturizer and stuff, the first thing you're going to do is either spray your facial toner on or you're going to just pad it on with a cotton pad. And we'll get into details in the video for that tomorrow. So watch out for that for those of you who have been sending email for a new facial toner. Okay, guys, now my time is up. So as I said, ingredients around the kitchen you can use to tighten and firm the skin. Those I mentioned are the, like, the ones that basically give you instant result. Try to use a tightening facial mask at least once per week, especially if you start to see the sagging on the skin, especially if you start to see, you know, like your chin drooping and all of that and the fine lines around your mouth and the forehead wrinkles, just try to add one to your skin. Now, if you're not seeing any sign of aging on the skin, prevention is better than cure. So you're going to start to use the tightening facial ingredients. You just don't have to use it as often, like three to four times a week. You probably could use it once every two weeks or so on and so forth my time is up guys if you're still watching give the video a thumbs up i'm gonna let this run over a couple minutes so i'm gonna use the extra time to take questions okay so if you have a question for me go ahead hi Lebert. how are you happy sunday um shereen khan thanks um all right um tattoo uh, tatiani I, as I'm exfoliating scrub, can I mix coffee and sugar together? Yes, coffee and uh, I actually have a, a recipe with the coffee and the um and the sugar together. However, there's a lot of times I use the coffee. I use it as a full body scrub because it's good for circulation. It's also great if you have a lot of like spider veins and varicose veins. The coffee really do a number on those, so I like to use it in my um body scrub. But it is also great great for the face. Go ahead, mix your coffee with your brown sugar. You can also mix coffee and tip a little bit of the baking soda in it with some coconut oil. Mm, 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 mm. That is going to really, really take it to a next level. Constant, thanks to she and Elizabeth. Um, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for sharing. All right. Um, Garetti? Um, cleanser, toner, moisturizer, DIY, please. Yes, that is like one of the most requested video 
for me to do a full video by my full skincare routine using everything step by step and that is in the works okay guys i've it's more than overdue so i definitely will do that all right hi pauline c hi pauline cuscus -cus. how are you long time no see you on this show all right calling you out um um nena N N E N A. What moisturizer do you recommend? I personally use a lot of facial oil. I make my own stuff. So, um, but there are a lot of good things on the market. But if you want to know what I use, just watch some of my video. Whatever it is that I make on the channel, to be honest, guys, that is what I use on my face. So I have my wonderful oil blend and you know these good stuff I post. Those are the stuff I use on my face so i'm always like but however one i'm going to try to list it below and it is a, a facial um serum slash moisturizer that i make for myself that i really really love and the video is up there and i tend to find myself just gravitating towards it a lot it have vitamin a it have rose oil and all those wonderful stuff all right all right um lastra l y s t r a i want to tighten my under neck oh this some uh, I have a couple of videos for that neck, but you can watch a video I post in um doing some facial massages for neck and decollete. Also, use the tightening facial mask for the neck. Just go on the channel and look for a neck mask, Chichi Beauty. And when you're done with that, get um a oil with vitamin A, massage the neck, or watch one of my video where I show you how to massage the neck to get rid of saggy neck okay all right um ramon r o uh, ramoni um oh my god the remedies have changed my life uh okay that's that's a wonderful way to end this show um oh my g omg the remedies have changed my life L um live my skin now she love her skin now because it is really looking radiant lynn lynn johnson if we don't have coffee what do you suggest instead thank you what for your face there's so many things um it depends on your skin type okay uh, maybe you're focusing on a remedy that i have out there or a video but if you don't have coffee i'm not sure what video you are referring to so i'm not going to tell you use that replacement for coffee coffee is in a class by itself all right so i cannot like right now substitute just leave it out and use the brown sugar or the white sugar if you're making a facial scrub you can also choose to use some almond blend that almond mix it with the sugar and use it but if it is one of my remedy for like varicose veins there's no replacement for the coffee um carol for yeast infection you put up a remedy i didn't get it could you repeat it on oh it's still there and carol try to learn to use the channel if you see my face below this carol it's um, the picture below the video, if you click on that, it's going to take you to my channel page. When you get on my channel page, there you will see video. You click on video and you could scroll. However, an easy way to find my videos, like really, really easy, is to Google it. Just put um, is, um, is infection Chichi Beauty in Google and the video is going to come up right there and once you click on the video then it will take you to the youtube page so anyone out there that you know you see a video you can't find it anymore just google it it's gonna come up okay all right hi jason how are you and that's jason um okay i just missed i don't know what okay okay and that's jason and this um or, okay this is moving a little fast for me all right let me scroll back see if i miss any question tips um one side of face hyperpigmentation on one side of the face you gotta focus on that side so if one side of hyperpigmentation it could mean that your skin is clogging it could mean that it's from acne scars or stuff like that so exfoliate the area and then you use whatever serum moisturizer over the entire face but make sure that area you exfoliate also most people that have hyperpigmentation or acne or you know clogged skin at one side of their face i normally say check like you're here if you're sleeping you sleep on your hair and it's not clean or you sleep like 
on a dirty pillowcase, things like that would cause one side of your face to have hyperpigmentation. So be careful and be mindful of that. All right, my time is up, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for your constant support. This week, I'm going to be sharing my video with my um, 1 million plaque. So look out for that video this week. I was going to do it on a Sunday chat, but I decided that some people is not going to get this watch chat. So I'm going to make a video. So you will see my 1 million plaque. Also, um, Instagram guys, follow me on Instagram for all of my lazy subscribers. <laughs> that keep sending emails cut the video time down if you go on instagram you could get some short little videos you're not gonna like it as much as the the 10 minutes one on youtube but if you're in a hurry so follow me on instagram i started to post like one minute video over there however there are always be a part of the 10 minutes video on YouTube. So come watch a 10 minutes video and then you go over there and you get direct, like the, you know, like really, really cut down video of the same video that I post on, on YouTube. Also my Snapchat and the link to all of these is in the description box below. If you click on that little drop down arrow, you're gonna see a lot of skin tightening ingredient in the little drop down arrow. You're gonna see my email for those of you who want to email me. You're also gonna see my Snapchat. You're gonna see my Instagram. You're gonna see my Facebook link. So all the links are there. So just learn to click on it. 40 minutes guys, I gotta stop. I love you guys. Join me on Friday for Let's Talk Skincare. For those of you who want to know more about like the acids and all all of those kind of stuff those are going to be on the friday show the friday show is 12 30 um 12 30 p.m eastern standard time the, the video is going to post after the show is over so if you miss the show go and watch it because that show is getting into more details about not only natural homemade ingredient but also what is going on in the skincare world so you don't want to miss that okay guys i love you guys go and watch the lineup of videos that i post um this last week and now we're in a good week take care of yourself love yourself smile a lot you know if you don't take care of you no one is gonna do it but you you know best relax 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 i'll see you next week same time 4 30 p.m eastern standard time for another in our series sunday chit chat with chichi beauty thumbs the video up on your way out if you like it